Open when I signed in, it says welcome to Domo. Well, hello there, we've set you up with your very own Domo URL. So my URL is storybydata.domo.com. And they've asked to bookmark this page, which I did, because I'll be coming back. These guys will walk me through some of the key areas of Domo to get me up on my way. So let's go ahead and click next. Welcome to Domo. We sure love our customers around here. Once you begin your trial, you'll have access to full Domo support. If you need us to support or with questions about your account, we've got you covered. Great. So it says, welcome to Domo. Our first guide is complete. We can click try to activate another guide. Here we have try it for all of these different areas. Guide on getting started page will cover the Domo basics. We can come back anytime by clicking the getting started tab, which is right here. Go ahead and click next. Welcome to Domo. Ready to go? Yes, I am. Click here to see what's in store for you next. Select any guide that interests you or do something, do some exploring on your own. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and click done. All right, so now that I have the access to Domo, basically I've logged in, I've added my company logo and I've uploaded my profile picture, which you can now see here. So let's see, let's try something else. We can see what it means to create a dashboard. Let's try it. So, oh, this is a tutorial about finding the app store, connecting to a data source, choosing your story, and then a preview of visualizations. So let's go ahead and click next. So the quick starts dashboards on demand. This is where the app store is, has you covered when it comes to connecting and visualizing data on demand. So let's check it out. So let's click on the app store. All right, great. So we have Twitter, we have Google Analytics, we have Facebook. LinkedIn, Salesforce. Let's go ahead and try the Twitter quick start. Let's go ahead and say, try it. Um, the app name, okay, quick, quick start. Um, let's just say, call it a demo. Save and finish. Again, let's wait for it to load. All right, step 17. All right, you're onto something. The app has successfully installed and is ready for us to take it for a spin. So when we're ready, we can switch sample data out for the real thing. And that's when things get really cool. Great. So let's click next. Your data is just a click away. So we basically need to just connect to data. Uh, so I don't have any Twitter account connected to Domo. So I need to connect. Go ahead, let's try and connect. Let's authorize this app. And we're redirecting back to the application. All right, now we connected the story by data. Let's go ahead and power up. So it's saying we might need to be waiting a few minutes because they're creating cards with our data. Okay. So let's go ahead and click. Oh, it's actually ready. All right. So. Let's click next. Success. You've powered up your first quick start. So again, it says it may take a few minutes of, for the data to load and you can stay and explore the new page or move on to a new tutorial. So let me go ahead and close that. Sharing is caring. Where's your data headed? Whether you want to share it with a select few or everyone you know, your important information gets to exactly where it needs to be with Domo. That's good to know. Sharing is caring. Just hover, hover over your card to access the options wrench. Okay. So let's, let's just scroll down and see what's happening here. So it's loading my tweet activity, recent social influencers, trending hashtags, top 15 trending tweets and retweets in the last 30 days. So this is a fairly new Twitter account for me. So let's see how much data we're going to actually find here. 
So we had one retweet in the period. Let's see, what is this? I sent tweets, total followers, 14 followers. This is pretty interesting. Interesting analysis of the Twitter account. Organic tweet performance analysis, top 20 organic tweets. These are the tweets. Predictive analytics. This is a, a brief introduction video that I created earlier this week. I don't have any paid tweets. Top tweeters. <laughs> Word Domo Cloud. Let's see, this this one is still loading. Alright, great. Well, thank you for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and try to connect to data. Let's go ahead and click try it. Your business lives in many places, that's true, and so does your data. The data center can help you collect and manage your data in Domo. All right, so let's go ahead and do this tutorial together. So make a connection. Your data sets and accounts are managed right here in the data center, okay? Okay, so here's the data center. Let's go ahead in there. Interesting. So if we wanted to connect to data, since we have Twitter, oh, you know what, let's connect to a sample data set of regional clothing sales, just to see what, what's in there. So here's the preview. We have the year, the item sold, the clothing type, and the region. Okay, that's the overview. All right, so that's the data that we're working with. Um, now what can we do here data sets let's say we want to do something here we can view details we can preview we can delete so again if we open it up this is the the data that we're working with i'm trying to figure out what can we actually do let's go back to getting started build a card let's build a card so let's try this taking the wheel so domo's strength lies in its ability to build custom visualizations with your company's data so let's see how easy it is to find insights you're looking for with a card builder so i guess building cards is a way of saying let's build visualizations so take the wheel are you ready to take make your own card yes let's go to the overview page and Let's wait for that to load. Oh, here we go. Let's add card. Let's create a design. So let's use the existing data and let's use the regional clothing set sales. Okay. So here's the data. Oh, so it automatically drops in a view. And what do we have here? We have some items sold by year and the color is the sales region. Interesting. You can quickly create a funnel chart. This is really, really interesting. Grouped bar chart. This is really instantaneous. This is really cool. We can do a single bar. That's what we had initially. Let's see what a line chart pops in. Wow. Bubble chart. I guess we can't really create a bubble chart because we need to drag a field for bubble size. But let's just keep clicking. Um, regional view so we don't have anything on color um, so let's see how do we do that this is oh we can have other charts we can create a radar chart this is really awesome candlesticks vertical block spot what would a calendar show us that's interesting okay nothing i don't think we have that specific data there word cloud because we're not really working with that many uh, text fields. I guess it's just going to give us the word clouds for years. Highs and lows. Wow, this is really cool. I'm starting to really like them. Domo. 